Joe Smithson. I'm the District 8 Design Engineer, and I was the Lytle Tunnel Project Manager. I'm Chris Preto. I served as Mount McDonald's Project Manager throughout the planning, design, and construction of the Lytle Tunnel Rehabilitation Project. The so Lytle Tunnel is the only mechanically ventilated vehicle tunnel in the state of Ohio. It was opened to construction in 1970, and in 2007, ODOT commissioned a study to look at ways to rehabilitate and modernize the tunnel. Currently, we're sitting in the control room of the Lytle Tunnel. We added new fans, new luminance detection, new lights, a new fire detection system. It was a complete upgrade of the existing tunnel, and this $33 million project brought everything up to current codes. The project was bid in March of 2015. Uh, the bid price was about $31 million. Construction began in, in basically June of 2015 and then completed in, majorly completed in December of 2017. The tunnel serves Interstate 71 and is under Lytle Park and several city streets in downtown Cincinnati. The project started out mainly as a lighting project, but as we got into it more, we realized that all the other mechanical and electrical systems were outdated, so that the district made a decision to take on the maintenance responsibility of the project and do a major upgrade. We looked at several alternatives to improve the ventilation end of the tunnel, but the preferred alternative was to construct an underground building in the park, therefore minimizing the vehicular impact on traffic. After construction was done, part of the project was to do a full-scale testing of the system. So we shut the interstate down and we did all the fan testing, luminance testing to make sure the lighting is working properly. What the public doesn't see behind the scenes is a system that is high tech. So if there is an incident in the tunnel, we got quick response and everything will be safe. There's a lot of stakeholders in the job. So we are involved all of our stakeholders, um, really coordinating with the, the Taft Museum of Art during the design process. They understood the, the need for the project. They just wanted to make sure that None of their artwork was damaged, so we took all the precautions and brought them on board. Cincinnati Parks happened to be in a master plan update and was looking to renovate their park anyway, so the timing of it was good. We could install their landscaping mixes where they wanted to have future plants or trees or flowers. Western and Southern is a major property owner in the area. They actually financed the original construction of the tunnel, so they were always very interested. And they purchased the nearby Annie Louise Inn, which is gonna turn into uh, a Marriott Hotel and a new restaurant that's gonna overlook the park. Duke Energy had to install two new transformers as part of this project. And a lot of coordination was required with Duke Energy to find a place to put these transformers and uh, constructing them in sync with our construction schedule. As this is the only ventilated tunnel in Ohio, ODOT naturally did not have tunnel experts. So they needed us to bring our mechanical, electrical, and specialized tunnel expertise to the table. We really leaned on them in that, in that manner. They brought in some experts from not only Ohio, but they have a lot of tunnel experts in New York City. Those guys have been very valuable in guiding us on what we should be doing, what we should be expecting, not only from the design side, but when we got into the construction phase. Uh, to ODOT's credit, their engineers and project managers actually got into the details and learned about mechanical and electrical systems so they could be fluent in discussions with our experts. Partner is definitely necessary, um, one, because of the size, but two, because of the complexity. Um, project is not your typical ODOT bridge roadway project. This was the, the first big project District Data has worked with Mom McDonald, their expertise in this kind of systems was very unique uh, and definitely not something that most consultants in Ohio have. So it was a good, it was a valued partnership between us and Mom McDonald. Communication was great with ODOT throughout the project. Uh, everyone was very accessible and willing to help out and move the project along as needed. And something was critical that we needed to discuss with ODOT. They were open to coming in to talk to them whenever. Everybody is working for a common goal. There's always going to be issues here and there on projects, but how you resolve them and, and get through those issues is the main thing with the partner.